Hello again, here's another use of the sign rule. Um, or another question from Pixel Maths. And it also uses half AB sine C, your area of a triangle rule. Well, let's have a look what we've got to do here. We've got the triangle. We know that this is 49 degrees, this is 64, and this is 8.7. I've got to work out the area. Now, to work out the area, I need half A, B, sine C. So I need two sides together with an included angle. So we're going to find AC. We're going to find this one. We're going to find AC. This is what we're going to find first. This is our best one to find because we can use the sine rule because that's opposite 49, and then we've got a pair. That's given side, opposite a given angle. So AC over sine 49 degrees equals 8.7 over sine 64 degrees. AC equals 8.7 over sine 64 degrees times sine 49 degrees. There you go. And you're going to get AC equals 7.305 and a bunch of other numbers, which I'm going to ask you to leave in your calculator and we'll call that ANS. Because we're then going to stick that straight into the next part. Now remember, area equals half A, B, sine C. Half A, B, sine C. So I'm going to work this one out. Look, that's 67 degrees. How do I know? Angles in a triangle add up to 180. I've therefore got this side, this side, and the angle in between. I can use this formula. This side, this side, and the angle in between. So that area is half times my answer times B, which is 8.7 times sine 67 half times the two sides with the angle, sine of the angle in between. And what does that give me? It gives me 29.251 and a bunch of numbers. But I want, of course, three significant figures. Three significant figures. So it's 29.3. Let's just recap what we've done. We've got to work out the area but we don't have the angle sandwiched by two known sides. We use sine rule to get this side. And I'll call that answer, because that's what I'm gonna use on the calculator. I'm gonna use that answer button. I know that angle because angles in the triangle add up to 180. And then we can just stick that in our calculator. I'm always writing it out for the examiner though, just in case I make a mistake. I don't wanna lose any more marks if I make an error. Show you're working round to the correct amount, three significant figures. Hope that's clear. Thank you very much.